Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while. Been on vacation. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. Moving, promotion, just everything. But today the video is we're going to continuation on my CompTI learning path. I know the last video is uh, phishing. And it looks like I was trying to complete Windows Privilege Escalation and Windows Local Persistent. Um, I'm having trouble, but you know what? We're going to start with the Active Directory Basics. So as you can see, I already started the machine and reset the task. So uh, and renew my subscription for tryhammer.com. What I like about this learning platform is you can learn on your own pace, your own time, and something that you don't understand, you can always go back and try again. So, you know, this is you know, the learning path of, uh, you know, in IT cybersecurity, you just keep at it a little bit by a little bit. So anyways, enough about me, let's go right into Active Directory Basics. This room will introduce the basic concepts, functionality provided by Active Directory. Okay, let's go task one. Talks about room objectives, prerequisites. As you know, guys, I'm only gonna show you how to answer each task. You, I strongly recommend to read through everything so you get full understanding what the task is all about. So, all right. Task one, introduction, room objectives, room prerequisites. And I believe I already did the fundamentals, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And so let's click continue learning, task one complete. All right, let's go to task two, Windows domain, started the machine. So this talks about Windows directory. And it talks about logging in. As you can see, when you use attack box, or the start machine, it's already preloaded. So again, you can do split screen or you can make a full screen. So I'm just gonna stick this to now. Answer your questions below in the Windows domain credentials are installed in a centralized repos repository called and right here. Active Directory. Let's copy, paste, and the second question is the server in charging of running Active Directory services is called Domain Controller. So, all right, let's go task three, Active Directory. All right, so it talks about the users, the machines, security groups. It looks like the server is uh, down, but sorry. And then it has examples of Active Directory users and computers. So let's follow along. All right, so Active. All right, so let's click that. So as example, looks the same. Now it says check our machine called THM, THM local. And it says feel right or I click THM and create a new OA, which is new organizational unit OA just figure out. And let's call it students. Let's just have fun with it. So you can do that or not. So you click IT, there's Claire and Mary Phillip. Just follow following along the, the examples. Same thing, IT management, marketing, research, sales, 
Then you click IT, declare Mary Phillip, just like the example. So it's big groups versus organizational, organizational units all use. Which group normally administrates all computers and resources in the domain? And for example, all computers resources, and it says right here in the last paragraph, security groups grants permissions over resources. So you type it in or copy and paste. Okay, that's not correct. Let's see, resources, domain admins. Over entire domain, they measure any computer. Okay. Let's see, domain admins. Okay, yeah. That's right, administrative. What would be the name of a machine account associated with machine Tom dash PC? So I think you look through, read through this paragraph. It says right here, identify machine accounts are really easy. They follow a specific naming scheme. The machine account name is computer's name followed by a dollar sign. For example, Machine name DC01 will have a machine called DC01 dollar sign. So Tom PC dollar sign. Yeah. Right. Supposedly our company creates a new department for quality insurance. What type of container should we use to group all quality insurance users so the policies can be applied consistently to them? So, consistently, let's see, ignore server operators. Grant permission. So, what kind of, so it's asking what kind of groups Looks like there's a long group mystery of or is it classify mainly use the fine? Okay, organizational units. So all right, task four managing users in AD active directory. All right, let's follow along. Deleting and deleting extra OUs and users. All right, so I'm going to delete this because uh, I don't need it. No submission. Interesting. I don't. I could create, but I can't delete. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're at the teach M. So it you can tell why there's marketing, management, there's a real long, so I'm gonna click right here. But let's see. All right, so view, let's go advanced features. And then, uh, so. It says advanced features. Do so right click the OU. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Oops. Oh, it's not good policy. What is this? That one, yeah. So right click, advanced feature object. Okay, feature. 
Okay, then you go to the group, so teach research. Then properties, object, D click the protection. So apply, okay. Make sure uncheck the box. Try deleting the OU again, you'll be prompt to confirm. So I guess you can delete it. Yeah, prompt to confirm. So to do that. The next one is delegation. So the first one was deleting. So the second one now is delegation. It highlights on sales. So let's right click delete control. Let's see next at name. And looks like it's Philip. All right, next. Check names next and it says click on reset user. All right, next. Finish. All right. Click a couple times, let's see, resets, here's RTP, so it says RTP, right? So, um, emotes, let's try to fill up. Administrator, let's try CD users. Let's change Philip. We're just gonna follow this example right here. So set a account password. So fee reset. just typing this out right here. New password. Uh, I'm just gonna put a random one. Alright, so probably this, same thing. And then next one says keep on using all force password reset our next login. So let's Set a the user. Oops. Press. Change password at law. Identity Sophie. Verbals. All right. Same thing. Pop right here. And lastly, it says log into Sophie's or your new account. All right, let's try this again. I hope this works. Cannot find THM Sophie. This might be in. Okay, oops.
HM sodium compounds. Can't find HM. It's not recognized by my type correctly. Not recognize. Okay, so it doesn't. Well, teach them. The C C D C Sophie Deny. No, it doesn't. Oops. Let's go back to, um, let's see, the process of granting privileges to users over some OA and other 80 object, object is. Oh, I think it's delegation, right? Yeah, delegation. Okay. All right, I need to figure out how to do this. Uh, username non specified. Well, teach them. What is the computer name here? Let me see.
actually let me see if I can teach him look. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's teach him look. So Sophie let's be change. Let's try to get changing. So it works. Okay. And the flag right here. Sweet. Awesome. That's done. All right, let's exit out. Okay. Sweet. Let's uh, close everything off. All right, task five, managing computers in AD. Let's see. Ask your questions below. After organizing the available computers, how many ended up in workstation on you? All right, let's again. Uh, yeah, close this off. All right, we're still in AD. It's highlighting computers. All right. All that. And workstation servers and domains. And so since we're tying up our AD, let's create two separate OAs. All right. Let's new OAs workstations. Nice. So it pops right here. Same thing. And then let's do another one. Servers. Oh, we got two. It says now move the personal computers and laptops to workstation OAs and the servers to the server OA. Okay, so we're just, where's it right here? All right, so don't, again. Awesome. So three and seven. Next question, is it recommendable to create separate OA, OUs, why is that OAs, OUs for servers for and workstation day or day? And let's see. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing here, right? So, all right, task six, let's go. Oh, my camera's still good. Okay. So, task six, group policy. So, GPO, let's close this out. And we'll see what's the question. So, what's the name the network share used to distribute GPOs to domain? Machines. Share. On a lock screen. What is the name of the network share? It's group, is it? It's not. Settings tab, okay. Showings, default. Okay, so you see now review is called system volume, which is located. So what is this one? So copy and paste system volume and can a GPO use to apply settings to use uh, users and computers? Yay? Yeah. 
Well, I already answered your questions, but let's follow along. All right, let's go to um, group. All right. So it's highlighting default. Uh, domain controllers default again. So I'm just following this along. Then group policy, and then there's three of these. So it says create here. And these are links. So GPUs are linked to OUs, and then group policy objects is to create. Okay. All right. So you click on policy. Let's move this. Policy, let's talk about the scope. Scope, links, security filters. Settings, so again, click on settings, generating port, so we'll follow this along. Default domain policy settings. So, you know, computer, you could hide the general. And yeah, same thing. Problem is one of settings, security settings. All right. Feel free to explore. Blah, blah, blah. So computer. So you can expand on this too. So comp policy. Some characters. Lockout policy zero. So same thing. All right. It says let's. Let's change the minimum password length policy requires user at least 10 characters. So we go to right click default. Was it edit? And then uh, what's it? computer policies, Windows settings. So I'm just following this long guys to See what else? Security settings. Yeah. It's a password policy. Oh, account policies, password policies, right there. And change it to 10 characters. So you could double click 10. You can click on explain. I'm going to write one home and see. Yeah, I am. Oh, so it's this one. That's what I was saying. 24. Okay. All right. So after doing that, uh, you go to PowerShell again. That's your error. You change that. So you have to GPU, GP update force. So force is the good policy. All right, so next one is strict access to con control panel. All right, let's back this out. So, so let's create a new, new GPO. F fours. Right. It goes like this. Strict. Oh no, GPO. Okay, I got it. Right here. So new restrict control panel access. 
says create GPO, so it's under the group policy object. So it's right here. All right. So we're following this along. We're going to Okay, let's see. Edit. There you go. Restrict. So let's see. Policy, administrative settings. I'm just following this along, guys. Control panels. Control, yeah. Let's see. Control panel, user. Configurations. Oh, sorry, wrong one. In the user policy. There you go. And it's talking about enabling the prohibit access to control panel PC. So. Right now it's not configured, so enable. And it's probably you can't see it, but there you go. Okay. And you have the same thing. This is why GPO is configured. We need to link all the OUs corresponding to users. So close that out. And it's talking about. So we're just following along, guys. Right here. I'll see. So is that teach? Um, so management, let's link it to restrict control panel access. So there you go. Marketing and sales. So let's link that and sales. Just following along. Yeah, so link those three groups, and then, so, yeah, GPOs you create, and then in the THM users, you link it, so. And then next one's auto lock screen GPO. And says, let's create a new GPO auto lock screen, so. Again, right click, group policy objects, new auto lock screen. And click that. Was it right click and edit auto lock screen? We're going to policies, so windows, security settings. Let's move this along, guys. Security settings, local policy, security options. And it says interactive lock on machine. Inactivity, okay, click again. It says 300 seconds. So define 300, apply, okay. So what's the same? It says we'll set an activity limit to five minutes. Okay, so let's go close this out. Uh, all right. So link, auto, lock screen, there you go. And the group policy, so basically the same thing. This one's uh, GPO is corrected, so let's log in. No when using blah blah blah. No, you create a link for some reason they still don't work. Remember, you can run GPU update force. Okay. You can do that. Or you don't have to, so All right, remote. Let's try again. Connect. So mark. So and four R K three. T one and G twenty one. 
If you try to open control panel, we should get a message indicating this operation denied. Okay, let's see. Control panel. Let's try. Yep, this operation has been canceled restrict. So, yeah, good policy works. All right. All right, let's close this out. Done the spray again. Okay. All right, task seven. Uh, close this out. Authentication, authentication methods. So it talks about Karibos, Net, and TLM. Different ways to authenticate. And the question is, answer question is low world. Current version of Windows use Net and TML as preferred authentication protocol by default, yay or nay. I think as you read it, it says Net NTLM, it's a legacy authentication protocol kept for compatibility purposes. So I would say nay. All right, when referring to Kerberos, cur cur what type of ticket allows us to request for tickets known as TGS? So, allow user. So there's ticketing, ticket granting ticket, ticket granting ticket response. Use ticket granting services. So yeah, just to redo this, it talks about how authentication work with two different methods. And last question, when using net NTOM, a user's password transmitted over network, is a, user, is a user's password transmitted over network at any point? Okay. And so you read through this, it says, no, the user's password or hash is never transmitted to a network over security. So it's a All right, that was very easy. Task eight, guys, uh, tr talks about trees, force, and trust relationship. So let's talk about different types of domain controller. The answer your questions below. What is a group of Windows domains share the same namespace call? I think it's true, right? So, I believe so. Trees participants. Okay. Yeah, you have two domains share the same namespace, thm.local. These domains can be joined into a tree. Tree. Oh. What should be configured between two domains for a server in domain A to access a resource in domain B? So by joining together, as you can see, domain eight, trust direction, access direction. So it's a one-way trust relationship. So uh, trust relationship. All right, and last one, task nine conclusion. And just talks about the summary. And uh, there's more AD hacking techniques. I wonder if I did that before. No, I haven't. There's a bunch of them actually. And yeah, click continue learning. So, and you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. As already shared on LinkedIn, you can close this out. Um, and if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button. I know I've been out for almost two months. Uh, just a lot of things going on in a year, but again, this is something I like doing. Uh, I'm actually currently studying another IT cert. It's just a simple one. I was trying to finish back in December, but you know, just stuff came up holidays. But I am currently. 
CompTI, Certifying A plus CYS, A plus Network plus, Pentest plus, Security plus, and IFT for fun. And yeah, so the hopefully the next video I can get it done would be breaching Active Directory. And uh, should I reset this? I don't think I got pretty far with this. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. I hope you like this. Peace.